So um, I think there's a great uh, link between our rural innovation and uh, the economy because if you look at Gandhi once said that India lives in villages, but this person said, what, many, many years back, but it's very unfortunate after 70 years of independence, it's very, very true. 68% of the country is living in a rural area, and it's very, very important because the number one uh, employment for all of them is agriculture, and second is textiles. So these two are the major area for us to you know keep innovating because uh, if you look at uh, what happened today in agriculture, every day there are 2,000 people are leaving agriculture and end up in the slums. And this Bangalore alone, we have around 2 million people living in the slums. Who are these 2 million people? They've lost a livelihood, they've lost a livelihood in the villages, right? So they've been agriculture, you know, the, the person who was made in my uh, house uh, a while back, she had like 20 acres of land in Dharmaburi. So that's it. So a uh, landlord, few years back could not even sustain. Today she's a maid and she's making very meager income and probably end up living in a very uh, bad places. So this is what happening if you're not able to innovate, if you're not able to make sure that our rural economy is not thriving and it, uh, if it is not, it's going to create a major impact, which we've seen on the other side as well. There are one set of people who are not able to have economic viability in their rural area. They end up leaving the place and end up in slums. There is another level of people that who stay there, who see that there is growth happening elsewhere. They are not part of the growth story. They are very unhappy. They become, uh, you know, outcasts. So this is a problem about not able to touch this rural economy problems. It's very, very important for us to focus on the innovations coming out of these places, make sure that there is a wealth created. So I've been to this place called Buddu in uh, Jharkhand. So this is uh, an excellent infested area. So when I went there and I saw an organization named Udyogni is working with the tribals there. It's a very simple innovation of taking a lac, the resins coming out of their um, trees and making a good use of that, um, the, the lac. Earlier they were making ornaments which was not viable for them. But there is an agri research institute in Ranchi which is able to tell them that this uh, lac can be utilized as in chocolate as a natural binding element. So the merchant I met, the, the tribal I met in that village had 40 lakhs in the bank. So this is what I mentioned about the rural innovations need to happen. The agriculture plays a major role. We have a fantastic uh, climate in the country because uh, our night to day temperature is very less. The agriculture innovation could be amazing. So like this, every part I go, there are wealth of knowledge, wealth of resources are out there. But we are not working about taking this wealth and create, put, applying innovation so the local wealth could be created. Like the lac example, you know, you see that uh, we have uh, uh, turmeric in Erode. So this agriculture farmers, they put together a farmer producer company. They started sorting out, they started storing, they started working on value addition. It's an amazing example. Like Araco Valley in Vaisak. It had a simple innovation on coffee. So like that, every agriculture product can be gone through this innovation, but can we bring in the farmer along with that as well as an normal example so that the wealth is shared because you see the people producing the value additions are the billionaires, but not the farmers. So it's very important for a farmer to move up in the value chain as well. So innovation, whatever we do, it has to make sure that the farmer is part of the food chain. Because everywhere, the over top of the food chain control everything below. So if a farmer is just producing, it's not going to make an impact in his life. But if you're able to create an innovation, be able to create a systems that he's part of the food chain, he's able to be moving up into the food chain, that is going to be a major uh, you know, improvement in the rural economy, which is going to be a fantastic boost to the economy because the number one employment in agriculture, it is producing very less to the GDP. Entrepreneurs can make a change. Agriculture has a, agriculture innovation has a major major potential to make a big dent in those millions and millions of farmers and everybody who are involved in agriculture.